Share with the group. And how does that make you feel? That's great, Steve. I'm sure that's a huge weight off your shoulders to, to open up like that. Um, everybody, let's show Steve our support and how proud we are of him. Anybody else got anything to share? And remember, sharing is caring. Okay. Hi. <sighs> Anyways, I'm Alex. Hello, Alex. My great-grandfather was a mime. My grandparents were mimes. Or both my parents were mimes too, so I guess I was pretty much destined to be a mime my whole life. But, uh, you know, what if I wasn't meant to be one? I mean, I don't like it, and I'm not very good at it. Well, why do you feel that way? Well, mimes aren't supposed to talk, right? <laughs> I see. Well, see, I never really had a choice. Before I was even born, my whole life was planned out for me. I guess it's perfect that I'm a mime. I've done everything for everybody else, and I've never really had a voice of my own. I hear you, and acknowledge your pain. You feel trapped. I think I have something for you. What is it, a pamphlet? Uh, exercises? Uh, medication? A key! I will unlock the prison that you have created for yourself, and you will be free to live the life you want and become the person you want to be. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. No? How about a chainsaw? Are you done? Okay, well that didn't work either, but it felt really good to talk about it, so thank you, Nathan. It's a shame. Well, we just started to make a breakthrough. Productive session, guys. Um, remember your self-esteem chance. Um, see you next week. Sorry about the arm. Oh shit. <laughs> It's great! How can you not like that? An hour with ill-tempered, rowdy teenagers. I think you're gonna need more than that coffee to get you through. 
It'll probably go better than my agoraphobia session that I had earlier.